Good morning, everyone. I am here today to present to you three of some of my favorite vintage flexed, flexible fountain pens. Uh, I've filled them all with this Waterman's washable ink, which I found off of Etsy. So first of all, we have my most elegant fountain pen in my whole collection. This is a Waterman's Lady Patricia. Next is the Maybe Todd Swan Eyedropper pen. And one of my very first vintage fountain pens. This is the wall with the number two nib. I'll actually start by showing you the Maybe Todd Swan, which is the most flexible nib that I have in my collection and it puts down a lot of ink. I don't wanna to talk too much because I would actually really love for you to hear the sound as well. Um, flex writing is just this really soothing, meditative experience. And once you get that rhythm, it's so hard to stop. This is my only eyedropper pen, and I really appreciate it because it takes out all of the other components that have the potential to get damaged or broken. And so it's really nice to have a pen, you just unscrew the grip section from the body and you fill the body itself with ink. And it's as simple as that. Of course, you need some sort of eyedropper, <laughs> as the name might suggest, to fill the body, and that's the only inconvenience if you're out and about and you need to refill your pen. But otherwise, there's nothing that is prone to breaking, like a, a rubber sack or a pressure bar or a lever or a piston or a seal. Um, so it's really nice to just have something so simple. I'm not really writing anything in particular here, just showing you what it looks like when the tines spread open. You can see how much flex this pen has and I barely have to apply any pressure at all. And then as with tradition, I must begin the rain in Spain. <laughs> Paul's mainly on the plains. That is my go-to random sentence. Anytime I need to write a random sentence, that is it. I've been doing that since I was a kid. I used to write. I've always been obsessed with writing. I used to practice my writing and just enjoy writing the action of it. Um, I would spend hours like laying on my stomach and watching a pencil just slowly put down lead on a piece of paper. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> the rain in Spain was my go-to. This is the Waterman's Lady Patricia and unfortunately the cap is cracked uh, which is part of the reason why um, I was able to get it at the price that I did. There's <laughs> a couple up for sale in Peyton Street pens right now that are absolutely gorgeous but I don't I ca cannot justify spending the amount of money that they are asking for them. I understand this pen is uh, the Grace Kelly of fountain pens. It is elegant and classy, but not showy. It is demure and graceful and subtle. Everything about this pen is just beautiful and elegant. And it's subtle. You have to like actually hold it in your hand and experience the writing and look at all the little details that make this pen so beautiful. The, the red feed and the matching grip section and the beautiful 
designs that are on the gold trimming. It's just, and then the way this pen writes, it is such a joy to write with. It's so easy to flex with this pen. And then we have one of my very first fountain pens. This is the wall number two. And it's got a beautiful little sterling silver body. This is the only one that has the occasional railroading. It's not often, but you do see it. You can see it in the G, and you'll see it a little bit more in some of the, the writing samples. And this one I find to be a little bit trickier to flex write with, and um, it always takes me a little while to adjust to it, and then once I find the rhythm with it, it's wonderful. And as you can see, when unflexed, the line is thicker than the other two pens that I have. It still was marketed or noted as a fine flex nib, as were the other two, but it's definitely a little bit thicker of a line. And then to finish my favorite sentence, the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plains. Thank you, Eliza Doolittle. <laughs> I think that's where that sentence, why it's stuck in my brain, because I was a big fan of My Fair Lady, My Fair Lady as a kid. And there it railroaded once more. And here they are. They are beautiful. These are all pocket-sized pens. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, of course, let me know.